Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm going to tell you about the Golden Gate Bridge in California. It took four years to build the bridge. Eleven people died building the Golden Gate Bridge. Twelve people got saved building the bridge because they got put they put a net under the bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is so long it could wrap around the earth three times. The bridge was 894,500 tons when it was built. It is 887,000 tons today. The reason it reduced is because new decking material. I got this information from the websites about.com, answers.com, history.com, and ask.com. The, the way an eagle rides and how it's called the Sunshine State. Yeah, that's right, it's Florida. How did you get it right away? One of the fam one of the people who lives in Florida is Walt Disney, which made Walt Disney World, which is near Orlando, Florida. No another person is Chris Everett, and she was born in Florida. She is one of the first younger youngest tennis player to reach the semifinals of the U.S. Championship. She won the U.S. Open Women's Singles. The last person is Jacqueline Cochran, which she was the first woman to get into the Pilots, Pilot Hall of Fame, is in Flor which is in Florida. And she was also a woman Air Force Service pilot. We demand freedom, but only by the hand of the sword we demand freedom. I bet you're wondering how that relates, relates to my state, Massachusetts. It relates to my state because there is. It relates to my state because the nickname of the state is Patriot State. The reason that is because major events that led to the Revolutionary War happened here. Some one of the ones I'm going to be talking about is the Boston Tea Party. The people that led it. The people that led it are John Hancock and Samuel Adams. John Hancock and Samuel Adams are both famous for signing the Declaration of Independence. John Hancock signed it, and he has the biggest, his name is the biggest at the top. And there was, it, the, the sons of, it was, the people that did it were the Sons of Liberty. There was more than 2,000 of them. They dressed up as Mohawk Indians and got onto three of the tea ships. One of them was the Eleanor, and one of them was the Eleanor, as I have on my poster. And they took, they dumped about, in what today's money would be a million dollars worth to the first battles of the Revolutionary War and the Boston Massacre. What state has many floods and what state can go below negative 42 degrees and can go above 111 degrees? Well, the answer to that is Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has many floods, but one flood that really sticks out from the other winds was on May 31st, 1889. The South Fork Dam broke down after a heavy rainfall. Over 2,200 people were killed and devastated in the first 10 minutes of the flood. 35,000 people were left homeless after the terrible flood. The summers of Pennsylvania can go over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The cold, in the winters it can go down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. The, rec the coldest time in Pennsylvania was negative 40 degrees on January 5th, The hottest day was on July 10th, 1932. In Pennsylvania there can be a lot of snow. It can get over seven feet of snow each year. Wow, that's a lot of snow. Bull riding is the first sport ever to take place in the United States. Today's Long Star flag was adopted in, on June 24th, 18, 1839 as the national flag of Texas. The seal was first adopted on December 10th, 1836, as Seal of Texas. 
New Mexico is filled with unique art and interesting food twists. A thing that I found while searching Mexican art is that some paintings like this one are very bright, while others like this one are very dull. In my, food, in my Mexican food search, I learned about Mexican candy. I learned that Mexican candy has a sweet and spicy mix. It gets the spicy twist with, from all of the chilies, and it gets the sweet, it gets the sweet mix with all the sugar. Um, I have things from New Mexico, and the first thing I have is, um, back. <laughs> the first thing I have, well, I have one up here too, but these are um, handmade bags from New Mexico that my great-grandfather brought for me. And um, this is, I brought this because they have, uh, beadwork is really popular in New Mexico, and this is one of many that I have. And then this is um, a, uh, a fish made out of, a, it's a handmade fish made out of a coconut from New Mexico that my grandpa also brought. And um, they have um, another thing that's really popular in places like New Mexico and Guatemala and stuff like that is um, amber, which you can make earrings out of, and it's a stone. And my grandpa also brought a lot of that, but I didn't bring that. And the sombrero that I'm wearing is, um, it represents a traditional, um, it kind of goes with the clothing they wear and some feasts and stuff. And um, no, and uh, I think that my search on New Mexico will really intrigue people to go. And I really, really suggest you going to New Mexico. Yeah, no, 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 no